Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to take a look at an amazing add-on known as HDRI Maker. This tool is like um, the best add-on for HDRI in Blender that I have seen by far. So I went over to Gumroad, I purchased this tool, it costs 59 euro and you can actually get a lower version which we're going to talk about later. And this tool comes with a huge library of HDRI. First and foremost, the library that it comes with actually gives you 400 plus HDRI files and they all range from 1 to 8K. So you have visual clarity while you're working with it. At the same time, if you simply go over here, you can take a look at several stuff that you can work with. The whole motive for this tool is for you to work fast and also have precision while you're getting things done. So if you want to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get it. And with this said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this works. First things to note is the HDRI pack that you're going to get from this is 46 gigabyte of file. But then if you don't want to spend 46 gigabyte of file, you don't want to spend 46 gig working with this. Of course, you can work with the HDRI add-on by simply getting a free HDRI from HDRI Heaven or from any of the HDRI sites that we've covered on the channel. So with this said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this works. So with Blender open, once you have this downloaded, all you need to do to get things up and running is go over to edit, go to preference, and within preference, you simply need to go over to add-ons, and within add-on, you need to load the file from here and get the HDRI maker here. Now, once you have this done, for you to have those HDRIs installed, you need to click down here and you have to get them all installed in one part. So the part where you have them installed, you have to link them here. This has to contain all of the zip files that you've downloaded. Then this is another part where you would want the repository of certain things to actually load. And this would be a separate library altogether that the HDRI pack would use. Once you're done, click on install and this will proceed to install. Now with this done, all you need to do to get things up and running is to go ahead and press N on your keyboard and you'll notice you have the HDRI maker right here. Now with the HDRI maker right here, you can have access to the 400 plus HDRI files that you want. And all of these files are incredible as you can simply scroll through them and you can get going by, you know, toggling this all the way up and down. And you can also get going by toggling this all the way up and down. So these are ways you can access this. So if you want to throw in a HDRI, let's simply get the model. So this would be a very good explanation and let's get this model loaded right in. So if you want to get the HDRI working, this is very simple. First things first, the size of the HDRI you want to work with. So if you want to work with 1K, 4K, 8K, that's all up to you. 4K looks good. So with 4K here, I can simply click on add. Now, once you click on add and go over to EV, you start seeing these things in action. Now, another thing to keep in mind is you need to find a HDRI that suits your scene. So for our case, let's simply use this and click on add. And this would be replaced with this brand new HDRI right here. Now with this here, your first question is, what is the difference between what you have here and what you have with other HDRIs. I'll tell you because if you go over to this part you have called the ground, we can simply let's extend this a little bit. Click on HDRI projected, and with this done, this automatically gets projected right here. Maybe you kind of think that this isn't doing so much. I would simply go through and get rid of the light because we don't need it. Now, the reason why we're getting rid of the light is because we can go ahead and throw in a sun. So if I throw in a very simple sun like this, we can use this to control how the shadow and how everything simply works. Now for this, I can increase the force of the sun. I can play with the inclination. I can do anything at all that I want. Now, another thing to keep in mind is once you press zero on your keyboard, you switch over to the camera and let's simply lock this. So in case you want to see this in full glare, I would also go ahead and press the home key. So by simply pressing the home key, I have the camera as full screen. Now, by doing that, you would also notice that we're having something here. How you can fix this is simple. If you want to have a transparent background, this is up to you. You can have a transparent background. But then fixing this is something we're going to discuss real quick. Before we actually talk about how you can fix this, the HDRI light actually contributes to what you get here. So I can increase this and I can reduce that. Another thing to keep in mind is you can also colorize your HDRI. So maybe you want to have some sort of uh, color to influence the mood. You can use this to mix things up and you can influence the mood of what you have. And on the other hand, you can play with exposure and saturation depending on what you want to go for. Now let's talk about, you know, getting rid of this. If 
you want to get rid of this and let's say you want to have a transparent background or maybe you just want to get rid of this like that you need to play with the dome and playing with the dome simply means that you need to click on the projection menu and then you need to go all the way down to the dome size and reduce this as much as you can now once you reduce this as much as you can you can force the transparency and of course you're having this doing all of the magic that you want how cool is that next thing is with this here if you want to throw in a fog you can always throw in a fog now the beautiful thing about having these hdris all you know ready to go is you can switch them however you want i can switch this and also get a very brilliant result let's get that there i can also do something else let's find something else like the water pool oh maybe something like this we haven't tried this before so let's throw that in and that looks perfect next thing we can do is we can just simply find anything you know doesn't really matter right now we can also get a garden this might look good in the garden so let's throw that right there all right so with all of these things here the next thing which you might want to do is what if you are trying to match move stuff what if you are trying to contribute to the hdri this is where we start talking about image projections and stuff yeah so for this to work what we need is we can simply tap shift and a and get anything load up a very simple torus let's use a torus for this i can throw in this torus right here and let's subdivide this torus a little bit and let's throw in a subdivision tap this by two apply this subdivision let's right click and also make this a smooth shade so if we want to project the background of what we have here onto the torus, how we can do this is extremely simple so with this here you can simply click on add ground and there you go thank you so with this here you can simply go ahead and do that and you can scale these and you would notice that it simply matches what you have so totally fine dependent on what you want and you can have this with ease so one more thing that we can do is we can definitely go all the way to add throw in a simple grid like this and let's go through and subdivide this grid just about a point like that let's hit this all the way to three apply this jump over to your sculpting and with this here let's actually lose symmetry i just want to show you the possibilities that you have with this so if you actually sculpt this however you want let's say you just want to sculpt this like that let's let's just let's just play with this a little bit i would sculpt this as much as i want now jump back into your object mode with this right here you can also add to ground and this is definitely going to contribute to what you have how sick is this so with a tool like this you cannot just add hdris or have high quality hdris you can control the sun you can actually sync the sun with the hdri you can colorize this hdri and you can also do some projection if you want to wrap this you can also use this to wrap the entire thing and you can notice that happening you can also unwrap things you can also wrap things this is up to you now if i move this with everything wrapped you will now notice that we can either project things downward project things upwards and this makes life even way easier as it's a simple piece of cake to get anything that you're looking for by just simply playing with the tools that these add-on offers now a lot of these things that we've been talking about sounds extremely nice but let's actually look at something that is even way nicer i'm deleting that particular grid that we created earlier and i'm scrolling all the way back let's turn this off and let's talk about the shadow catcher now the shadow catcher comes with some very cool premium looking effects what i mean by that is this if i go over to add go over to mesh add a simple plane let's do a plane plane looks good i would add that plane and let's scale this plane all the way up actually i would move this plane a tiny bit upwards exactly so we can see what we have if i go over to the shadow catcher right now i can click on add shadow catcher and this is going to catch the shadows regardless whether we have you know shadows somewhere it's definitely going to catch the shadows and this makes sense so you can use this shadow catcher for a lot of things despite the fact that it's catching shadows we can also use it to reflect and refract stuff you can go right here and click on water effect so with the water effect going on like this if you press the playback button you will see that this is animating in real time and you can change how you want this animation to be you can change it from static to flow and you have a flowing water so you can get that you see the direction it flows 
cool you can play with the water direction change the direction however you want increase the speed you see a tool like this is giving you opportunities of creating stuff like that you can play with the scale you can reduce the scale reduce the wavelength increase the wavelength awesome now for the reflection you can fade it in fade it out and on the other hand if you don't want to get water you want to get simple reflections you can add reflection plus normal and you have a reflection right here how sick is this now with this reflection of course you can change different patterns and different maps that you want to have on your reflections like for example fingerprints graphite i don't know maybe you want to get some tile this is awesome if you're working with something that exists within an interior scene or maybe within a tile scene and you can also change this to wood this is just totally up to you and with all of this you can play with how much you want this reflection to fade and mix with the hdri file that you have or the hdri that you've loaded and like i said earlier this doesn't just matter if you have a particular hdri as you can simply switch to any hdri simply switch to any of the quality of the hdri just go ahead and click on add and you have exactly the same result now with all of these things done and all of these things said let's go back a bit and also take a look at some other things that you also need to keep in mind now with this here if i would like to add displacement i can also click on add displacement and this is going to add some sort of displacement that would mix up with what we have as the original reflection and on the other hand it is also going to mix with what we have as the hdri you can choose to subdivide this to get even smoother stuff and you can unsubdivide divide and remove this totally and this would help and save you a lot of time now if you're into interior scenes of course you can pick any interiors at all let's find a very nice interior like the studio right here and click on add and just simply get this working and this is just extremely perfect nice let's also reduce the force that we have and just turn this a little bit lower awesome now you can light this however you want it is just up to you and you can make a lot of cool changes now with this here you might be asking what if just what if you want to add some fog how you can add fog is simple if you click right here within the fog section you have a fog and you can simply click on show fog now once you click on show fog automatically this gives you fog that you can play with you can play with the details and you know if you want high stuff default stuff low stuff very high best up to you let's simply keep this at high once you press the playback button this animates but you don't see it now the reason why you don't see this is because we haven't played with the patch like right now we're doing that you can see that and we haven't played with the density as well so you can choose to play with any of these things and also play with the direction that you want things to flow you can also flip this around and you know once you start playing with the patches let's just turn this a little bit lower and you know move across you would now notice that we can see this animating really really quick and the beautiful part about all of this is they are all animatable so you can right click add a keyframe you can have the animation happening you can also right click add a keyframe you can animate the color you can animate the hdri light you can do anything you want with this crazy amazing tool now if you want to use your own hdris and you don't want to wait for a million gazillion hours for this thing to download how you can do it is extremely simple so for us to actually do that so you guys can see i'll switch over to user and you can now notice that we have this set to empty now we've already gone over to hdri uh, heaven and we downloaded this very simple looking hdri how this works is by simply going all the way let's go through and remove everything that we have so we don't have any of the hdris i can simply click on the word import let's take this out take this out click on the word import and import what we have i would simply bring this right here so you guys can see and i actually downloaded two of these but this is the one i want to show you guys with and once i click on import hdri this automatically comes in right here you can choose to redraw resize you know redraw the preview in case you're not getting exactly what you're looking for and you can see how flawlessly we have gotten the hdri to integrate with what we have i can also click on the import one more time and import the other hdri that we have and you can also see how this fits into your scene regardless of anything happening so for the shadow catcher you can def you can definitely dive right in there and you can play with the probe size of course you can also play with the reflection size and you can just simply do anything that you want this is an amazing add-on that you can get your hands on right now if you want to get this if this is definitely going to help you get things going simply 
you know take a look at the link in the description as you can get this going for yourself and this is definitely going to be all about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to get this tool there's going to be a link to the blender market where you're going to find tons and tons of cool things that you can do with this it comes with a huge set of tutorial that you will definitely find interesting link is going to be in the description also link is going to be in the description where you can find the hdri maker 2.0 pro pack that you can get on gumroad and also on blender market so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace